My name's Adrian Mason. I'm a director of EI Engineering, manufacturers of high-performance excavator buckets and other attachments. The third largest cost of excavation after wages and machine purchase price or lease cost is fuel. With the price of diesel fuel consistently rising, fuel consumption becomes the largest variable cost of excavation and impacts directly on your out-of-pocket expenses. Why is that for the majority of us? Our shiny new excavator does not live up to the manufacturer's claims and guzzles fuel at an alarming rate. We automatically blame the salesman of the dealership or the manufacturers themselves, but they are not necessarily at fault. The problem could very well lie in the choice of attachments you're using or the dealer is provided. We all know of aerodynamics and the effect they have on car performance. Hence, if you install the engine of a Ferrari into a van body, it will not perform or be as fast or as economical as a Ferrari. Air resistance will slow the van down and it will take much more engine power to increase the speed using much more fuel. Exactly the same rules apply to Earth, except the effects are much, much greater. The Earth has a far greater resistance than air, so the impacts are significantly greater when an excavator tries to penetrate and pass through the Earth. To prove our point, we recently carried out some tests with a 14.5 tonne excavator. Firstly, we fitted the EI engineering bucket to the excavator and filled it to the brim with fuel, and then simply dug a trench, 900 wide, for an hour at full depth. We set the excavator throttle to economy mode. Notice how smoothly the bucket penetrates the ground and the complete bucket falls it produces. At the end of the hour period, we found that we had dug a trench 22 meters long at an average depth of 3.5 meters. The calculations show that we actually dug 77 cubic meters and in that period, the machine used nine liters of fuel. We then fitted the machine with a generic bucket, filled the tank and started the digging process again. You can immediately see the bucket struggling to penetrate the material, where any change of the throttle settings, we continued to dig for another hour. After the hour, we measured the trench and found that it had dug slightly deeper at 3.6 metres, but only dug 16.5 metres in length, a total of just 59.4 cubic metres. We then filled the tank again and measured the fuel usage on this test at 10.4 litres. Not only did the EI engineering bucket use 15% less fuel in the same material on the same throttle setting using the same operator, it also dug 23.5% more material than the generic bucket. To make these figures more meaningful, if we divide the fuel used by the generic bucket into the cubic metres dug, then multiply that figure by 77 metres dug by the EI engineering bucket, you will come up with a figure of 13.5 litres of fuel in an hour if the generic bucket had dug 77 metres of material. This represents a massive increase of 50% fuel usage over the EI engineering bucket in the same amount of time. If the life of a bucket is proposed at 5,000 hours, this shows a massive saving of $33,750 over its life. So what does it all mean? Purchase price does not necessarily mean you get good value. Bucket design is important for fuel economy. Bucket breakout and digging efficiency is dependent on bucket design. It's impossible for a machine to dig efficiently if they have badly designed buckets attached to them. If you want to save money, you will need to have the right equipment. And not all buckets are the same. If you use buckets that are not designed efficiently, they will cost you money. EIE engineering buckets are designed to dig efficiently out of better materials with bigger worlds. Consider EI engineering when you next require buckets. The results we've experienced in this test, they were actually better than we expected. And what it's done is it's made us realise that we need to do more testing. So stay tuned to our website and we'll update you as these new tests come, come about. Thanks for your time.